<sighs> oh my god, hi, I'm Tiffany, and guess what? I'm, I'm still poor. Work a job that doesn't pay very well, and payday's tomorrow, and I've got no money for food. So I'm going to show you how to make amazing meals with things that you find in your home. My existence is so sad. Oh, look, a tea bag. Yes, we found our first ingredient. Let's get cooking. I need, I need to take this camera first. Okay, I have scoured my fridge and cupboards and I found this chai tea bag. Oh, I love chai. Some pretty old sake tarts. I think they're plain flavoured. Oh, no, I don't think they're plain flavoured. They taste like blue cheese. Do they do blue cheese flavoured sake tarts? I think they do. I really hope they do because it doesn't taste so good. Ooh, oh my god. I found a goji berry. At least I think it's a goji berry. It looks like a hemorrhoid. I wonder if there's any more. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god, I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven goji berries. This chai tea bag. And some blue cheese saka tarts. Ah, I'm gonna make the best meal ever. Woo. Real excited for this meal. Oh my god. Some canola cooking oil spray. Yes! This has just taken the meal from ordinary to slightly less ordinary. I'm so excited. Okay, so for today's meal, I think we're gonna make a delicious muesli. And I use the term delicious lightly because it's probably gonna be the most disgusting thing you've ever eaten. I'm so looking forward to this poor man's meal. Episode four, muesli. Okay, so first thing I want to do is lightly oil our bowl. Okay, so now our bowl has been lightly oiled. We're going to go ahead and put in our blue cheese sakatas. Using a oh god, his hands are on. Using a spoon, mash the sakatas in to the canola oil spray. Oh, yum. This is just coming together so well. Yum. <laughs> I don't want to taste it just yet. Oh, I want to save the amazing flavors for the end. Mmm. Now we've let that sit for about two minutes so the sarkatas can properly absorb the canola oil. And the reason why this camera angle is so difficult is because I only have a small tripod and I want to be able to capture exactly what I'm cooking. This really hurts my back. All right, let's go ahead and put in our gagina berries. Did you know that the gagina berry is actually derived from the Amazonian women? Now, the Amazonian women have their period, and their period dries on the floor, and we get the gagina berry. Mmm! <laughs> I'm looking forward to eating these gaginas. <laughs> but we're not finished yet, I hear you say. I wish we were, but... We've got one more thing to add. Okay, so what we want to do now is get our tea bag. And we're not just going to put our tea bag in whole. No, we're going to open our chai tea. Because we want to have a chirific meal. That didn't work. Mmm. Yum. Chai. This is a very ethnic dish. As you can see, the gaginas are from Amazonia and the chai is from, that's correct, it's from chai. Nah, we're gonna put our tea back in there too. Mmm, it smells very much inedible. All right, let's bring this up here for taste test time. Oh my God, now comes the part that everyone loves, the taste test. Yum, 
it kind of looks nothing like muesli, but you know, when you're poor, you make sacrifices. All right, let's try some of my canola gagina chaisley. Oh my God, it's surprisingly delicious. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Has a moth ever accidentally <laughs> flown into your mouth before? Because this tastes worse than that. But I'm hungry. Haven't, haven't eaten in a while. Yum! Tiffany, you've done it again. You're so good and cooking. It's Tiffany's cooking adventures. She likes to cook things she finds in her cupboard. And sometimes on the floor, sometimes on the floor. She'll find things off the floor and cook with them. Even though you're not supposed to, because that's really not healthy. Oh no, this bit's actually the best bit. Mmm, I'm licking the bowl clean. Because it's so delicious. Oh, that canola oil. Ugh. I'm dizzy. But if you want to... If you have things in your cupboard that you... I'm like, Tiffany, I have a... If you're like, Tiffany, I have a jar of salt and some milk from last month. What can I make? Comment the ingredients below and I'll show you... <coughs> and I'll show you how to make a meal with them. Mm. Like I did with this. Mmm. Oh no, I dropped it. <sighs> Yum.